Getting a mouse that's both compact and precise can sometimes be hard to find, but luckily Logitech has created just that. The Anywhere 3S is the ultimate adaptive mouse, working well with a range of environments and situations, working effortlessly with both Mac and Windows devices for support wherever you need it. As a part of Logitech's mission to update their favourites with the most popular new features, the Anywhere 3S still holds everything you love, but now with some much needed improvements, making it more desirable than ever. Hi and welcome to Box where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Opening up the box, you'll find the mouse housed in this very minimal packaging, sitting atop a small box filled with all the accessories and user guides. As a wireless mouse, you get a decently long USB-C charging cable measuring about 41 inches long. It's long enough to reach the back of your desktop PC and use while charging if needed, but as it's got a decent battery life, you'll find you won't need to rely on it that often. Connection-wise, you'll find it doesn't come with any unifying receiver, so it does mean that you'll need to connect via Bluetooth out of the box. But here's where having other compatible Logitech devices comes in handy, as the Anywhere 3S does work with the Logibolt receiver. I already had one with my AMX Keys S, so I could easily connect them to the same receiver pretty quickly and manage them at the same time. But to be fair, it does use Bluetooth low energy, so it should work perfectly well no matter which connection method you use. Taking it in hand, my first impressions are that it's very lightweight and smaller than average. Now this is of course completely intentional. It's designed in a way that it's compact enough to fit inside a laptop bag or pocket, taking up very little room while still giving you the control that you need while working on the go. The overall design is quite minimal, going for a muted graphite colouring with the odd silver highlights. It does come in a pale grey and rose variant too, just like the previous Anywhere 3. But now Logitech have upped their sustainability by increasing the use of post-consumer recycled plastics up to 78% for the graphite and 61% for the grey and rose. It's just great to see such a big name in tech taking their impact on the environment seriously and making big strides with every new release. To the touch, the surface is also pretty smooth. Now it's got a consistently soft matte texture over the top with a nice grippy rubber texture along the sides that really helps keeping a firm grip considering its compact size. In general, the look and feel of the mouse is practically identical to the original Anywhere 3. Now it measures roughly 4 inches long, 2.5 inches wide, and a crazy 1.5 inches tall, taking the title of the smallest mouse that I've ever had. Now it is a little small in my large hands, kind of leaving my palm and wrist without much support. However though, it doesn't feel awkward to hold necessarily, it's more shifting control directly to my fingertips, making movement light and instinctive. With the compact size, I definitely use this mouse as more of a travel accessory for my laptop while working on the Go, but this by no means stops you using it as an everyday mouse, especially if you have small hands, prefer a lighter control, or mainly need to save desk space when you have little room to work around. Taking a look at the bottom, you'll find a handy little sticker mapping out the connection instructions to get you going, but underneath lies the power and easy switch buttons. I like having this little colour coded switch here as it helps to remind me to turn it off when I'm not using it to save power. Now the easy switch system is definitely an incentive to have with Logitech brand devices. It's a feature pretty much seen on all of their devices in the past couple of years and makes it so much easier when switching between three different save devices with just the press of a button without needing to disconnect the Bluetooth. Now on top you get five buttons to play with in total, a right and left click, an ultra fast mag speed scroll wheel, a shift button just below that, and finally a forward and back button along the side just above where your thumb rests. Though most of the buttons remain the same as they did with the Anywhere 3, with their just audible clicky nature, you will be pleased to hear that the left and right click are now practically silent, making a nice improvement from the previous version. But to judge it for yourself, here's a little sound sample to give you an idea on the noise levels here. Movement wise, I feel it's pretty smooth. Now there are four little glide pads on the bottom that help move it around on practically any surface. Now I'm mainly using this on the hardwood desk, but I also found it moves just as well on the spongy desk saver and a glass surface. Now it did struggle ever so slightly picking up the sensor on glass at times, but mostly it did work coherently and let me complete some general browsing without much fault. Now overall the sensitivity here was exceptional. The general improvement is of course having that much faster max DPI of 8000 compared to the previous 4000 DPI on the Anywhere 3. Personally, 8000 is much too fast for my liking, but if it's something that you use in your day to day, then it's definitely a bonus to be able to reach such high pointer speeds if you need to. Now, one of my favourite features here is that ultra fast mag scroll wheel. Now, it just feels incredibly luxurious and is quite fun to play around with when using the shift wheel button just underneath to change the sensitivity from ratchet mode to smooth scroll. Now, I know everyone has their own preference, but I personally love the more precise ratcheted mode, and I love that they made the choice to fit such a luxury into this 
compact mouse, it really gives it more of a sophisticated feel that you don't normally see in such a travel sized mouse. What's more, it does have that hyper fast scroll feature too, so you can easily get to the bottom of a web page, for instance, in a matter of seconds. As I've mentioned countless times, everyone has their own way of working, and what I love the most about Logitech devices is that free Logi Options Plus app for customising functions to my own personal tastes. Now, it does take a second to connect and set up once downloaded, but once you're in, you can choose which device you want to manage and see all of the possible alterations available in this clear, easy to read visual display, mapping out all of the buttons. Now, if you're a creative user, for example, it's great to be able to assign hotkeys for launching certain apps, or even just adjusting sensitivity or enabling auto features to get the movement perfect. Now, I'm pretty happy with the default settings as they are, but the fact that you can assign practically any key you want to a whole list of potential functions is a real asset to have at your disposal. Touching very quickly on the battery life here, the box suggests that it can run on a full charge for a total of 70 days, which is perfect when you don't have a method of charging to hand. It is USB-C charged, and weirdly, just plugging it into power for as little as a minute can carry around three hours of potential use. Now, I've been using it for roughly two days, and even with the less than 100% battery out of the box, it's still running on the same charge, which is great for a small battery-powered device. So after using this mouse for a few days, I can say that it's the perfect companion for the on-the-go type. It's compact, lightweight, and incredibly responsive, which is great for a detailed workload. It works great on various surfaces, meaning that you can work practically anywhere as the name suggests, but mostly it's very well made and the battery lasts a long time, leaving you plenty of power between charges. Overall, if you need a mouse that can support your work no matter where you are, this is a great companion for any Mac or Windows device. So what are your thoughts on the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S mouse? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we always have our hands on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.